compound angle formulas. A trigonometric expression that depends on two or more angles is called a compound angle expression. This is useful when modeling certain types of trigonometric functions. Compound angle formulas are developed using both algebra and the unit circle. Here are the formulas that you will use. Sine x plus y can be written as sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. Or you could have sine x minus y equals sine x times cos y minus cos x sine y. Cos x plus y equals cos x cos y minus sine x sine y. And the last one, cos x minus y equals cos x cos y plus sine x sine y. Now, we're going to take a look at an example. Show that the formula cos of x minus y is equal to cos x cos y plus sine x sine y for x equal pi over 3 and y equals pi over 6. How are we going to do this? Consider the left side and then the right side separately and then look to make sure or verify that they are equal. Cos of x minus y, we know that x is pi over 3 and y is pi over 6. Now, when we look at these two fractions, we know that to add or subtract fractions, you need to have a common denominator. So we set up pi over 3 with the denominator 6, which means the numerator will become 2 pi. Then we take pi over 6. It's already in the form we need, so we'll just continue. And from there, we get cos of pi over 6. Form a special triangle. We know that the cos of pi over 6 is square root 3 over 2. Now, let's take the right side. Cos x, cos y plus sine x, sine y. And again, we will use the given angle measures, cos of pi over 3, cos of pi over 6, plus sine of pi over 3, times sine of pi over 6. We will now use the special triangle to find the exact values of these measures. So cos of pi over 3 is 1 half, Cos of pi over 6 is square root 3 over 2. Sine of pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Now we'll multiply numerator and denominator and get square root 3 over 4 plus square root 3 over 4. We have a common denominator, so we can add together the numerators and we will get 2 square root 3 over 4. Taking out the common factor of 2, 
it will simplify down to square root 3 over 2. Since the left side equal right side, the formula is valid for pi over 3 for x and y as pi over 6. Here is example 2. Show that the formula cos x minus y is equal to cos x cos y plus sin x sin y for x equal pi over 2 and y equals 3 pi over 4. Consider the left side and the right side separately and then verify that they are equal. Now take the formula cos of x minus y. We know that x is pi over 2, and we know that y is 3 pi over 4. We are subtracting. We will need a common denominator of 4. We will then take 2 pi minus 3 pi over 4 and get the cos of negative pi over 4. Now, since it's negative pi over 4, the direction is clockwise, not counterclockwise. So from the special triangle, we will get the value of 1 over square root 2. Taking the right side, cos x times cos y plus sin x times sin y, Substituting in pi over 2 times cos of 3 pi over 4 plus sine of pi over 2 times sine of 3 pi over 4. Substituting in their exact values, cos of pi over 2 is 0. Cos of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1 half. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, and sine of 3 pi over 4 is 1 over square root 2. This also works out to be negative 1 half. Our left side equals our right side. So our conclusion. The formula is valid for x equal pi over 2 and y equal 3 pi over 4. Now, in example 3, let's go through this. It is one of your assignment questions. Choose an appropriate compound angle formula to determine an exact value for sine of pi over 12. Now, when we look at this, we can see that 12 is not one of our special triangles. But perhaps we could apply one of our compound angle formulas, and then we could find the exact value. Let's take a look. Now, we start with pi over 12. And we know that it has to be rewritten as pi over 3, pi over 4, or pi over 6, as these are our special angles. So, let's take a look. Well, we know that pi over 12 is 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. We know that 4 pi over 12 is pi over 3, and 3 pi over 12 is pi over 4. Wow, that would work. So, we can write the sine of pi over 
12 is equal to the sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4. So we write the angles as the difference. Now, taking the appropriate compound angle formula, we can go one step further and say that sine of pi over 3 times the cos of pi over 4 minus the cos of pi over 3 times the sine of pi over 4. Using special triangles, we know the sine of pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2. The cos of pi over 4 is 1 half. We're subtracting minus. Cos of pi over 3 is 1 half, and sine of pi over 4 is 1 divided by square root 2. Are you with me? Simplifying, we break it down to square root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 square root 2. Now, let's verify. If we take our calculator, we know that the sine of pi over 12 is 0 0.2588. And if we take square root 3 minus 1, divide by 2 square root 2, that's also equal to 0 0.2588. Since the left side and right side are both 0 0.2588, we have found our answer to be correct. Identify, consider, apply, now check. I can. Now it's your turn.